Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to share what I know about SQL statement. I'm going to introduce SQL aggregate functions. Count function gives you how many rows you have in your query result. It gives you the total number or in another word or as the name implies, it simply count the number of rows you have. For example, in this query, you would like to get the total number of employee from state of Pennsylvania. So you see, I'm using a count function here. We just enclose employee ID. Technically, for some, you will see that they're using asterisk, but uh, personally, I would not suggest that. I would prefer you to use any uh, columns or even number. So let's run this one. There you go. So here you see five. It means that in state of Pennsylvania, you have five employees. If we are not using count, what you will see is five rows. There you go. You have one, two, three, four, five. So these five rows, uh, let's put uh, first name. The data will make sense. There you go. So you have five employees in Pennsylvania. So instead of counting the rows in your result, you just use function and as I mentioned you can use um, any other columns for that so let's say first name and it will just uh, do the same five because it is just count the number of row when I say you can use even a number you can use zero and it will do the same five and asterisk it will just do the same so if you remove this state of Pennsylvania what it will do is it will count everything every rows in this employee table because you don't have any condition run it there you go we have 34 records under employee table that's count for you okay so that's all for now. I know there's a lot of things to learn, but I really do hope that you learn something. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.